Hello, we'll be taking up a few more questions now under uh, the quadratics, interior angles and exterior angle and then we move on to some spatial types of quadrilaterals. The last question which I'm taking up under it, it will be the one I'm writing. It says in a quadrilateral named A, B, C, D, A, O and B, O are the bisectors of angle A, sorry, and angle B respectively. We have to prove that or we have to prove the following actually. It says angle AOB is equal to half of angle C plus angle D. To do such, to, be, to do the proof, we let us draw a quadrilateral and we name it as A, B, C and D. We have to draw the bisectors of angle A and B. So, I am keeping the base to be angle A and B. That will be helpful. This is C and this being D. Let us draw. And if these are not accurate figures. So, just I am drawing, trying to show this as a... Um, uh, angle bisector this marked this will be marked as O now let us mark so that they look like this angle is equal to this one and this angle is equal to this one now look at the triangle AOB we write in triangle a o b let me mark them that will be helpful for us if i mark this as one this supposes two and the other one will be a o b and so in triangle a o b it's angle one plus angle a o b plus angle two this is 180 degree because of the angle sum property. <coughs> Sorry. So, angle AOB can be expressed as 180 minus of angle 1 plus angle 2. Now, this angle, achha, let me just continue writing. This is angle AOB, then sim B can also be expressed as now angle 1 is equal to the other part of angle A because A1 is the bisected part. So, A can be represented, sorry, angle 1 can be represented as half of angle A or I write it as A by 2. Similarly, angle 2 can be written as half of angle B or angle B by 2. This is one way of representing it. Now, I can also write this taking 1 by 2 common uh, and outside. So, it is angle AOB will be equal to 180 minus if I take this half out, it will be like angle A, sorry, plus angle B. I have taken half common. Now, I better write some freehand usage. Now, this angle AOB can be expressed as, now angle A plus angle B, so this is 180 degrees. Oh, God, sorry, it's not coming out properly. So, 180 degree minus now this A, B, C, D, I'll write A, B, C, D is equal to 360. I mean A plus B plus C plus D will be equal to 360. So A plus B can be written as 360 minus C minus D. 
or simply I can write C plus D that will give us A plus B as well. Now again I will write it the way we did the previous one, previous uh, step. So it is 180 minus, if I open the bracket I am getting 360 by 2 that is 180 and here I am getting half of angle C and I put it in a bracket because if you look at the proof part I have to keep it in a bracket so let it be in bracket. So we get angle AOB is equal to 180, 180 becomes 0. Hmm. Okay, why did I write it here? Oh, I made a mistake there. Oh. Hmm. No, it's, oh, when I removed the bracket, it should have been here plus. So 180 minus 180 got cancelled. I'm left with half of C plus D. Look at the question. This is what we had to prove. AOB is equal to half of angle C and angle D. I now move on to another screen as well as taking up with the special quadrilaterals. Let us discuss the special quadrilaterals. The first one. I am taking up first trapezium. Now what is a trapezium? A quadrilateral. I, let me just draw and explain the features there. This is a trapezium, a quadrilateral having exactly one pair of parallel sides. These are not accurate figures, so they don't they might not look like one which having parallel lines. So this is a trapezium wherein if I name these sides like A, B, this being supposedly C and this is D. Then in the one which I have drawn is AB parallel to CD. That is one pair of parallel sides. Now there you, you might just come across term which says isosceles trapezium. Trapezium. Isosceles trapezium is said to be an uh, one which the non-parallel sides are equal. In this figure, B, C and A, D are non-parallel sides because we have drawn A, B, C, D to be parallel. The one which in which this B, C and A, D, the non-parallel sides are equal, it is referred to as the isosceles trapezium. Now we move on to a parallelogram. I just write here parallelogram. Parallelogram is the one where both the sides are opposite sides are equal and parallel. I am drawing like not that accurate figure every time mention that A B this is C sorry and that's D. In this, if I draw AB parallel to CD and BC parallel to AD as well as opposite sides being equal, so they become parallelogram. What is the rhombus? Rhombus is one which says a parallelogram having all sides equal. That is a rhombus, but not necessarily they see how uh, it, it becomes different from square with the fa in the fact that ne not necessarily that all the angles are 90 degree. Here only four sides equal will be your rhombus. Okay. We now take up a rectangle. This is like the one I am drawing here. Opposite sides are again equal and parallel. This is opposite sides. These, these two are equal and parallel. I mean these two are equal and parallel. But the one which it makes it different is all the angles are 90 degree here. These angles are all 90 degrees. In a rectangle. Right? 
the next being square i told you how it is different here the square also has all the four sides equal all the four sides are equal as the same uh, you know, feature or uh, the characteristic lies with rhombus the difference here is all the angles are 90 degrees as well which is not applicable on, in rhombus and i think one which i have missed yet uh, not taken yet is a kite let me draw the figure and that will help me explain better this is a kite this is a quadrilateral which has two pairs of equal and adjacent sides and unequal opposite sides that means these two are equal and these twos are equal these are they are equal adjacent sides and unequal opposite sides these are adjacent sides which are equal these are adjacent sides equal but the opposite sides are unequal these are the few of them but uh, now we will be taking up you know more uh, questions uh, that will help us understand these mm -hmm. special types of uh, quadrilateral um, the features of them in a better and more accurately i take up a first question uh, under this i write it here though yeah this is my first question it says two adjacent angles of oh, sorry of a parallelogram are equal what is the measure of each now we have a parallelogram whose adjacent angles are equal now if we draw a parallelogram suppose that you draw a small parallelogram these are the adjacent angles suppose i'm marking marking this as one and two suppose these are one and two are equal now we know that in a parallelogram these two angles are interior angles on the same side of transversal so they make a pair of supplementary angles so angle one plus angle 2 should give us 180 and also we know that they are equal so I'll mark this angle 1 and angle 2 to be x and x let us take the measurement to be x and x so it is x plus x is 180 so 2x is equal to 180 so x is equal to 90 so the measurement of each angle is 90 in this given question. We take up more such questions in the next few sessions. Thank you.